Hi all, I wanted to talk with you about how to control your sugar levels, that is how to control your sugar levels. So if you're like me, you can't stand, you can't stand, you can't control your sugar levels at all and you want to give it a thorough good knocking, a thorough good ear bashing then you're watching the right video i'm not trying to encourage you to to like pig out on sweets and chocolates it is it is it is a difficult thing to manage but it is it is true if you've heard heard of it from from anywhere else like doctors nutritionists pharmacists you have to control you have to try your best to control it in a way that that is that is right you do need you do need the 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 odd you do need the regular breaks from it like maybe every other day or go a few days without it and then just eat have something else but yeah and even and even naked these bars they 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 are apparently I was told by a nutritionist it's that that actually sells them <clears throat> with the with the company Holland and Barrett they they, they I talked to a nutritionist there and they say the the nutritionist that 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 I spoke spoke with over the phone in the actual main office in the course call, call center they say that if you it's best not to have them every day it's best to have like one one i think they're saying like one you could you could have it like every other day or one every few one every few days if that makes sense but don't have it religiously every day i think that's what she was saying to me and you're not you're not meant to have two a day either or or beyond that or beyond one because it is apparently is it's a lot of sugar in it Although it's although you you guys you guys and gals have seen the ingredients how it's all all no added sugar. Although it, it although in all of them in all, in every packet there, there's a hint of flavouring in there. I would have thought that's to do with the with the fact that it's with with the flavouring. I'm I'm guessing there's a, there's a I can only guess there might be might might be extra sugar in there, but I doubt it. I doubt it. But that's what I'm think. That's what that's what. That's what that's what I've thought about. That that's what's pondered my mind, you see. And when we, when we are tempted to eat, apparently as well, a nutritionist says, and doc, doctors as well. Either one of them, because I, I spoke to a nutritionist, a doctor, and a pharmacist, and they say, when you when you this is this is what the nutritionist said. They she 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 said, when. When you become tempted to have sweets and chocolates, they actually say you don't need to you don't need to be tempted to have it. You you have to try and control it as you have to try and control it. But then but but then but then on the flip side, a a pharmacist said you can you you can have it every day whenever you whenever you're tempted, especially when you when you exercise because that's when you 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 crave it more. We crave it more when you exercise because you have to the body has to replace. Replace the sugar that's lost in the exercise. But I, I I spoke spoke to a doctor, and they and the doctor gave me advice that we meant to, we're meant to have 20, 20, 25 grams of sugar a day. But we're not meant to reach. I think they're saying. I think they're saying we're not meant we're not meant to reach that. So we we meant to be we meant to have we meant to go below that. So let me look at the paper that I wrote wrote down. Hang on, one moment. Yeah. So this, like I said, like I said to you before, the doctor wrote wrote this down: twenty five gram, twenty five grams of, 
25 grams and I put, and I put and I put a a a sugar a sugar intake a sugar intake a day well a day sugar intake I put I wrote down but you know you 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 heard me say anyway so I suppose I didn't I don't need to show you the writing so but you you meant to you meant to like you can have replacements instead of having sugar uh, in, instead of having instead of having 25 grams of sh 25 grams of sugar every day you can you can you can have nuts or something else that's without sugar you can have things like like i said peanuts or any any other mixed nuts or any kind of nuts they they a, a nutritionist also said they, they also said you can you can have fruits as well mixed fruits or any kind of fruits so I, I, I've, you probably noticed I, I'm not, I'm not reading much, reading much from reading. I'm not reading from anywhere or reading from any kind of screen or any kind of paper. It's because I've memorized what they've told me and I've, and I've sort of like given, given you and I've fed it back to you, repeated it back to you. But you, but categorically, we have to, we have to monitor our, monitor how much sugar, sugar and chocolates sugar and ch sugar sweets chocolates we eat and we we have to monitor in some in some in some you have to you have to monitor every week you have to you do have you do need that break you do have to have that break away from it or else you will or else your pancreas will be mucked up and so and it's not it's not apparently it's not a good thing to have to have to have sweets and chocolates at night times for the last last meal it's best to have it like like before your last meal like middle meal <clears throat> middle meal but i break that rule every time i do have it but i just have four bites and yeah of course yeah when you when you do have sweets and chocolates if you're having it with biscuits just just have just have like a reasonable reasonable bite each time you bite you bite into bite into a chocolate with something else like with a biscuit or something but then but then every bite you have just have four four bites not eight or 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 or, or, or try to finish a big a big bar a big bar of cadbury's you know those big bars try not to finish a whole a whole packet in one day because then that's just ridiculous but I'm not here to judge. I'm not here to judge you. But it's just it's, it will be just too much sugar. Uh, you know I, I don't want to put you on the spot to make you feel guilty. But even I feel guilty after eating too much sweets and chocolates. So I'm not. So so I am sorry in advance if I if you feel I'm I'm judging you or making you feel guilty. But we we have to try and control our sugar sugar levels because if you if you keep repeatedly re repeatedly having lots of chocolates every day seven days a week religiously like non-stop then eventually your pancreas will give up and then you then we, then we will have to then you you you'll develop diabetes not just that even when you're diabetic you you go through you go through spouts you go through spouts of 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 wanting sweets and uh and apparently that that's that's what that's what happens to a diabetes it diabetic diabetic it's it's called a hypo hypochlor jimmy jimmy i've got it written down here hypo hypo gliss i think i spelled it right i'm guessing h-i-p-o-g I S I M I A hypoglycemia. Hypo hypo it's when you when you I think it, I think it's when you like you 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 get you get you get a burst of want you your 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 it's like your 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 levels of what it, what is it they they saying it's like your level levels of sugar runs low and you have to top yourself up and yeah. So, and they and I've and I've heard I've heard also when you when you when you drink drinks when you after having sweets and after having sweets and chocolates 
well they they say drinking water is good as well that's what i heard from my that's what i heard from my mom drinking water but i ignored that and i heard it again from a diabetic when i watched a program about diabetes with the, with the nhs they say if you if you drink sugar, if you if you drink water after you've had chocolates and sweets it reduces the power of the of the sugar or reduces the strength of it of it of you of, of you absorbing too much sugar in your body and not just that I, me personally i i only drink the only things i drink at the moment is water and coconut water so i have water for breakfast after breakfast then i have coconut water for 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 dinner after after my dinner and then the last meal i have i have coconut water again and that's literally it or oh, they're the only two things I, I drink at the moment but eventually when I, when my body sorts itself out i will i will be drinking i will only drink I'll, I'll only be drinking i'll only be drinking what do you call it i'll only be drinking tea once a week with 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 what i've just said as well the coconut water and water so yeah so like I, I haven't got anything else to say so the most important thing is to is if you, if you can't memorize anything or you can just watch this watch this video again and take notes maybe the most important thing is to is to is to actually take breaks some when you when you have sweets and chocolates and 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 apparently a, a dentist a dentist said a dentist actually said that if you do, try not to have it every every time you eat if you're gonna have it if, if you're gonna have sweets and chocolates at one at one point if you're gonna, sorry if you're gonna have sweets and chocolates have it once in that day don't have it a few times in that in that don't have it a few times in that day or else or else you you you'll damage your teeth so yeah and oh and I, and I was told by a dentist I was told by a dentist sugar free gum is good for the teeth so yeah that's really all I have to say in this video so let me just pray um heavenly father thank you for your grace and mercy that you put upon us from past present and future heavenly father I pray that you're able to be able to strengthen us in in our temptations and our temptations for, for for the cravings for sugars for sugars and chocolates pray pray you strengthen us each and every day oh god pray not to fall upon us in the blood of jesus and i plead the blood of jesus in our situation for healing and for healing and restoration in our bodies for the for the urgency for sweets and chocolates pray not to fall upon us oh god i pray the jesus christ in our situation for healing and restoration pray help us not to be tempted to to be to to have cravings for sugar and chocolates and sweets and sugar I pray the Lord Jesus Christ in our situation. Pray not to fall upon our situation. I pray these things all in Jesus' name. We pray, Amen. There was one other thing. Yeah, this was this was the other thing. When you when we, when we exercise, like I said to you in the video, in the, the earlier in the video, when you exercise, you will you will naturally crave sweets and chocolates. But if you don't exercise, you shouldn't really crave any sweets and chocolates but if you do crave sweets if you do if you do if you do crave sweets and chocolates even even though you don't exercise at all when you do crave if you, if you do sorry if you do crave sweets and chocolates and you, and you don't exercise at all i think it's it's best to talk to you talk to a nutrition about that or a doctor or any kind of specialist to get advice about that because apparently you're not meant to crave you're not meant to quit crave sweets and chocolates when you don't exercise at all so yeah that's all i have to say in this video so god bless take care bye for now and peace be peace be with you